Hello? Welcome.
So this organization helps these, these kids. So uh, Sarah, like I said, was not able to be here. Uh, she wrote, when first approaching the children, they didn't hesitate at all to welcome me with old, overwhelming amounts of hugs and even kisses. They sprung and leaped for joy every time I come back to see them. Each child I met surprised me more and more with their endless amounts of love and affection. It was such a blessing to see their smiling faces. Not being a Spanish speaker, I struggled to communicate with them physically, but emotionally. I felt connected. I had the opportunity to not only help these beautiful and amazing children, but create bonds and friendships that will always be cherished. Some of the things we did with the children was VBS. We visited an elementary school and presented to kids from K to 8. We did skits, told Bible stories, sang praise songs, and had a time to interact with the children. We were taught songs that were actually pretty catchy, and some even had stories of their own. Some personal stories were told from us and how it impacted our lives. These were then tied to life lessons that would be beneficial. They enjoyed it so much that I wish I could have stayed all day long. Not only was I able to interact with the people, but also experience cultural immersion. I saw where they lived, how they did household chores such as washing dishes and clothes, and cooking food over heated coals. I really enjoyed stepping out of my comfort zone and doing things to touch and impact people's lives. I'm so honored that I was able to change the lives of the people in the Dominican Republic. These people have so little to live off of, but by observing how they go about their life, they live like they have everything in the world. I met some really amazing people that made this whole experience possible. They put their hard work and determination when working with social organizations. Their time and energy spent with helping families in need is such a blessing in their heart. I was so fortunate to be able to work with them to make a change in the community, and I hope to introduce others to do the same. The Dominican Republic is a beautiful country from the delicious food to the sandy beaches and welcoming people. This trip was a life-changing experience. I enjoyed every moment spent there and would for sure come back in the future. I'd like to thank everyone who supported me on this amazing journey and to anyone that may have doubts about going on a mission trip, go for it. It's one incredible journey and a trip that will be never forgotten. So that was from Sarah. Um, this is kind of interesting, remember this, Jaron? So I heard that there was a young man from Bellevue Church that was not part of our mission group that happened to be at the CASA. So I looked out for this man. I saw these kids from the University of Washington, and there was Jaron. So uh, we have some slides from him, so I'm just going to turn him over, and he can kind of talk about his experience. Yeah, um, this was this was on like our second day um, of being in the Dominican Republic. So it was a pretty pleasant surprise to see a number of familiar faces in a faraway country. Um, I saw Davis, I saw Katie, I saw Normie, so that was like a, a pretty cool thing. Sweet. So um, one of the opportunities that I had to take part in was um, a science camp. It was actually the first year that um, Children of the Nation was able to do something like this. Um, so we had. Uh, six six different teams from my from my group um, of three or four different three or four college students who um, went to two villages and we did science camp for grades one through six. Um, this was this was a really awesome opportunity. We focused a lot, um, as you can see, the my my beautiful scientific method poster in, in Spanish. Um, it was awesome to be able to teach them this, and we we did a number of exper experiments with them. Uh, I'll click through them and talk about each one of them. So the first oh. So these are the experiments that we did with them. So um, each one was based around the scientific methods. We'd have them make a prediction uh, and think about what would happen. The first one we, we did was um, a heart rate test. Uh, so we had them like look at their resting heart rate as well as like their active heart rate, which is a lot of fun. Um, so in this picture, we're we're running in place, and like the kids love that. They uh, they really enjoyed like trying to find their heart rate. Uh, we like walked them through like how to do that. Um, this experiment here is a center of gravity. Test. Um, so we had them do different exercises. They tried to pick up a cup. Um, they would like be against the wall, and um, they, when they're trying to pick up a cup, they'd fall over, which was like pretty fun to do with them. And they love to see us do it as well. Um, the last one. Uh, this last one, if you can see, there's a like we have pendulums uh, swinging 
Uh, we, we hung them from the ceiling and had different tests where we saw what they uh, We changed different variables. Um, we like added weight and stuff. So it was cool to like walk them through that and talk about like variables and all that kind of stuff. Um, one of the coolest things was that the, after the last day, we um, got, to, they got to ask us questions and give us feedback. And a lot of them said that they thought that science was really, really important and were like very sincere. Thank you guys uh, for teaching about science. So it was cool to think that we were like planting these seeds um, and like maybe making them passionate about science in the future. Um, like like they said, a lot of them go on to be teachers uh, and they come back and teach in the schools that they like grew up in. Um, we like during the classes we had a translator. Um, and most of them wanted to be teachers, so it was awesome to work alongside the people of the Dominican um, while I was serving as well. I'll go back and um, yes, yeah, so this was um, this was one of our first days. We went to a church service um, in the town, and if you can, is there a laser pointer on this? Yeah. Yes. There, I'm right over there. Uh, you can tell me really small, but. Um, I actually had like, a really cool opportunity to lead worship um, for my team of 50 college students and staff members. Um, and on the, on, during this church service, the worship leaders actually asked me anyone to play guitar, and I told them that I could. So they called me to the stage, and I got to play guitar with like their worship band. And that was a really, really cool experience because they're like they were just so on fire for for God, and it was really awesome to be a part of that. Um, I was a little. Uh, I was a bit unprepared. I didn't really know how to play the electric guitar or operate any of the speakers and stuff, but it helped me out. Um, it was a pretty humbling experience and also like an awesome experience to be a part of, um, to experience. Sweet. Uh, also, so it was me playing baseball. Um, baseball is a huge part of life in the Dominican Republic. Um, it's an awesome way. For, it was actually like there's an organization that's like a part of Children of the Nation called um, I Love Baseball. And it was actually started by someone who came from my group, which was pretty cool. Um, and baseball is an awesome way for us to reach out to the older kids, because um, once they're done with school, um, some of them choose to keep going, like going to a university and stuff, but some of them don't. Um, so baseball is an awesome way for us to continue to connect with them uh, and have like cool conversations with them, um, like beyond beyond school. Um, this is a picture of me with the missions coordinator from my group, named Kelsey, um, and there's also there's a a number of cool things that have been happening with baseball in the past couple of years. Um, so baseball is a predominantly male sport in the Dominican. Uh, that's like a pretty like set thing. Um, but last year, um, one of the girls in my group, her name's Esther, uh, she like played played baseball with us. And uh, this year, five other girls like joined her and played baseball, uh, which is awesome to see. Um, see like a lot of like Mr. Ruby say like girl power. It's awesome to see like the um, girls being a part of it. And it also like, makes a big impact on the local girls. Um, while we're playing baseball, a lot of younger kids will oftentimes watch us and like, play around uh, while we're playing baseball. And a lot of them said like, they wanted to be like the girls who were playing like, in the baseball games, which was really awesome to hear. It's cool to hear that we were like, inspiring them and um, really showing them like, like, what, they, what they can do, like, they're, they're, that they're not limited to like, household roles and that kind of thing. Uh, this was at, the, at one of the schools that uh, kids love to um, call us cabalito um, and run on our backs. So there's, we're just playing with some of the kids after after science camp. So, um, in addition to um, leading the worship for my group, I also had the opportunity to lead a small group. Um, one of the things that I really liked that my group did was to um, make it a good like a like a growing experience for the people who came to serve as well. Um, so we had small groups to uh, debrief the day as well as like learn more about each other. Um, most of us like didn't know each other going into the trip, so it was awesome to experience it together. Um, and I got to facilitate a lot of conversation along with um, one of the staff members. Uh, so that was an awesome experience to take part. Sweet. Um, and this is one of the translators. His name is Miguel. I actually met him last year, um, and we had like a lot of good conversation, um, just getting to know like who he is, like what kind of things he likes. He's actually at, at school in the university um, in Barcelona. Uh, he's studying business, and it was awesome to like. He's about the same age as I am, um, and so it was awesome that like we come from these different backgrounds, but like, we were able to talk and work together. Um, and one of the coolest, like one of the most memorable experiences in the trip this past year was. On the last day, like getting to um, hang with Miguel, 
um, when when we're about to leave, Miguel like stops me. He's like, like Jared, you have to come meet my mom because uh, she she actually works at um, the Casa, which is where your team, your team stay and where we had our lunches. Um, so she was one of the ladies who like washed the dishes and like provided the food for us. Uh, so Miguel brought me back uh, and introduced me. He said like, this is my best friend Jared. Uh, to his mom and like said some, some things in Spanish and then I got to see her face light up and she gave me a big hug and really welcomed me in um, as family and that's like one of the biggest things that I took away from the trip is that um, COT and really like, treats us like family and like welcome, welcomes us in his family like even though we come from like so far away and like we're very different um, and like we like share that one week together and then we like have like three separate lives um, I think I'd like to think of this as kind of like a microcosm of heaven, you know. We'll all come together and like be welcome in his family and to be able to like celebrate together and fellowship together. Um, so that was really awesome. That was like really like heartwarming for me to um, be be welcome in as as Miguel's family and like to to meet his like mom and stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's like your guys. Was that Aaron? I kind of thought it was, but you said the picture and I was like, well, put it in anyway. It's like, man, you kind of look like you're right. Alright, cool. Thanks, Jared. So, um, we have a bunch of slides we're kind of going to go through. I'll let Katie and Davis kind of jump in um, as we kind of move along. This was